Hi. Welcome ladies, gentlemen, partners, and potential investors to another episode of Startup Fuel, where we bring business plans to life. I'm your host, Mr. Martis, and sitting with me here today is Bradley of Electric Brain. He's going to tell us a little bit about his company, and we're going to dive deep into his business plan. Bradley, tell me a little bit about yourself and tell me about uh, where you've come in your life to this point. Tell me a little about your history, your education, and you know what basically brought you to this point in your life. Sure. Um, so I think I really started working in computers when I was 12 years old. I actually remember, I remember the day when the librarian, she pulled um, a book off the self, shelf, and I kid, kid you not, she blows dust off of me. And, it was, the book actually was written 10 years before I was born. It was, you know, 20 years outdated by when she gave it to me. And um, she gave it to me and it was basic, uh, you know, programming. And I, it took a year before I had ever was able to write a real program from that book. But that one day, honestly sent me down through this different path and towards the path of computers, I guess you could say. And so, I mean, after that, I started working on uh, this program called Recipe Search Engine. Then as a teenager, I was uh, working on all sorts of open source projects, like uh, games uh, were the most frequent because they're fun. Um, and then, you know, when I got to university, I kind of felt like I had a lot of experience doing computers. So I then decided that it would be best for me to get more breadth. So I took a business degree, focused on entrepreneurship, and uh, we, I mean, tried to start a couple businesses during university. You never really have enough time for it during that phase though. Uh, so um, that kind of gave us, gave me some like early lessons in terms of particularly around how you choose the people you're going to work with. And then after university, I had uh, my first, I guess, more serious startup. I partnered with um, a local entrepreneur in Halifax and um, it kind of, I think the idea was great at the time. What we were creating was uh, a competitor to Kijiji, meant to be easier to use. Uh, so that startup uh, didn't work out so well, uh, mostly because of uh, uh, poor choice of teammate. Uh, and then I came to Toronto uh, after, you know, your startup fails, you don't have a lot of money, you go to the big city. Uh, so I, I joined this company called Sensibel. They were an early stage startup. Uh, they, I was the first employee that they hired. They had just raised a two hundred fifty thousand dollars seed round, and then Sensible, you know, worked my ass off trying to, to create great technology for them. And now they're they started to really take off. Uh, they are now, I think, around 50, 55 employees, and it's just it's just crazy to, to remember sitting sitting at a desk that is like the size of this ping pong table here with the three of us. And then, and then thinking like now they live in an office the size of this entire office, right. you know, with 50 people, and like I was, I was there, you know, watching that happen. Uh, so and then, but at a certain point, you you kind of realize that, like, it's not your dream to be an employee or a team member. It's your dream to start your own business. Right. And so, I um, I kind of came across the idea for my current business uh, while I was there, and uh, it kind of just grew out and I, I started to, to go all in on it. That's really, really cool. I mean, I can imagine because now Sensible is a massive company and they're growing and they're doing really, really well. Oh yeah, yeah, they're, they're doing crazy, man. They closed, they closed a deal with FIS recently, which is a reseller. It basically gets them into thousands of banks across the United States. Uh, it's oh, it's 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 all it's mind blowing. But I like because I'm no longer I you know left my job to do this startup. Uh, I'm not there to experience it all. I right. only get to hear about it through the people that mm -hmm. I talk to. That it's it continues to just go crazy. That's like, insane. So like you said that you came to Toronto. Where did you where were you from originally? Uh, so I was uh, I've lived in a lot of places growing up, but uh, before Toronto was Halifax. Okay. I went oh, to man. school there yeah. and then uh, did my first startup there and you know my first uh, post post-graduation work um, but Halifax Halifax has a tech scene yeah. with about maybe 30 40 tech companies you know it's not it's not even close to the scene in Toronto so it just made sense from a strategic you know perspective to go to where the ecosystem is That's and it's been, cool. been the great you know a great choice for me so far mm -hmm. have you been back to Halifax since I really wish, but no, I, yeah. I should visit there sometime. It's such a great city, a yeah. good place to visit. I mean, I definitely, I would love to go, go and check it out myself. Mm -hmm. So like, talking a little bit about entrepreneurship, you know, like, you probably have a lot of uh, 
inspiration coming from people, you know, entrepreneurs that have been there in the past and current entrepreneurs. Um, you know, can you give us an example of uh, somebody dead or alive, an entrepreneur out there that inspires you? Really, I got a kick out of like many people was Elon Musk. I yeah. read this quote, which I think really fundamentally altered a lot of how I thought. And it was Elon Musk's advice to entrepreneurs. And he only had one piece of advice. It was read books. Read books about the problems that you're having, learn about them, and you know, you'll be able to, to you know, solve those problems yourself. So I, when I read this, I mean, I was just like, oh, you know, I've been kind of wanting to get into reading books and, you know, started, so I've got a whole bunch of books, Lean Startup and all of these things. And, um, but uh, I think the real thing that motivates me now, honestly, is the entrepreneurs in the community that I know. You know, my former, you know, boss at Sensibel, you know, Jane Wayne at uh, Optimity, you know, uh, Jordy at Reportin. Um, you know, Mike from Bionic Labs, you know, and, and hearing their stories uh, and, you know, their struggles and, you know, we, we're all in this, we all have struggles, but it's really actually talking to those flesh and blood people that I think really kind of keeps me going and keeps me inspired to, to keep, keep working on this. Yeah, no, that's awesome. I mean, the community is growing and, you know, like they say, the rising tide lifts all boats, right? Yeah, exactly. You know, and people are really, help, really want to help each other. I mean, that is what a community is all about, and it's it's great to be in a community which is not like cutthroat or Goldman Sachs style or anything like that. You know, people here are really they really want to help each other, and yeah. it's really been a tremendous ride for that. Yeah.